First up, Iraqi troops and the international forces they're leading are closing in on the city of Mosul. It's in northern Iraq. It was taken over by the ISIS terrorist group in 2014. If and when ISIS is defeated in Mosul, it'll be a major setback for the terrorists in their efforts to control the region. Hundreds of ISIS fighters have reportedly been killed so far. There are reports that ISIS has been executing civilians as the battle gets closer. There have also been a number of casualties among the coalition troops fighting ISIS, including a U.S. serviceman whose vehicle hit an IED, an improvised explosive device, last week. As ISIS has fled the towns around Mosul, it's left these bombs behind, and those who work to clear them out take tremendous risks. Peshmerga captain Chilhan Sadiq comes face to face with death every day. Here, showing us the fruits of his labor, he says he has removed hundreds, perhaps thousands of IEDs like these. I do it for humanity, he tells us. The people who plant these things are dangerous for my people, for the world. So it's my decision to help save a life. As Kurdish and Iraqi forces edge ever closer to Mosul, ISIS has been leaving behind the weapons to kill and maim even once they've gone. Brigadier General Bajat Mazuri heads the elite Zerovani Special Forces. He says he loses more fighters to IEDs than on the battlefield. 30% of those casualties, men working to defuse and remove the explosives. We liberate a village and they are everywhere, he says. People come back to their homes and open something up and it blows up. The demining teams have rudimentary equipment, a metal detector if they're lucky. The operator of this one lost his fingers to a booby trap. Usually the tools are wire cutters and their bare hands, their faces inches from the explosives, not even body armor, let alone bomb disposal suits. We need training, but it is not enough, he tells us. We need more equipment, new equipment, to find the IEDs and destroy them. It's the danger from booby traps that means that civilians can't go home to their villages yet, even now that ISIS has gone. All they can do is collect a few things and leave again.